Gardening by the Moon. Uh, ancient people, when they saw the moon in crescent, quarter, full moon, waning and waxing during a lunar cycle, they thought the bright side of the moon is the actual mass of the moon shining in the sky. We know now that the bright side of the moon is just a reflection of the light of the sun from the surface which is toward the sun. Partly we see it because it is reflected back to us. The dark part of the moon does exist and as such has a mass. So any effect that you want to achieve by planting at different times of a lunar cycle is practically pointless because the mass of the moon is there all the time. The bright side is not all the moon that is existing. The whole disk is there, partly is illuminated by the sun, by the rays of the sun, and that is the part we see. Dark part exists. So, as such, no effect due, uh, due to the mass of the moon itself. Now consider that some may say no ancient mint by planting at certain times your seeds, seeds for, for, for example for root vegetables at certain times. It means that the light of the moon actually will encourage the growth. Think about it. The light of the moon increasing and decreasing during a lunar, lunar cycle. Phases of the moon, it means practically. Does it affect? I think the bigger effect we agree all is that the sunshine has a bigger effect on the <laughs> growth of the plants. Germination is mostly affected by the heat, not by the light. And when the plant actually has opened its uh, crust of the seed and comes out and its solar panels in the form of the first leaves come out that's the moment it needs the light the light of the full moon magnitude minus nine is nothing compared to the light of the full sun which is minus 27 magnitude that's the difference that's the difference of a scale of every magnitude is about 10. So it means 10, if it is another magnitude weaker or stronger, that means 10 multiplied by 10. So between the uh, full moon, which is minus 14, I think, and the uh, other uh, first quarter moon, which is, I think, minus 9, there is a gap of almost 12 or 13 multiplied 10 times. So 10 to the power of 13, the difference between the illumination of the moon that is the strongest and, <laughs> and the magnitude, the brightness of the sun. So practically is negligible. <laughs> I'm telling you, this is negligible. The mobile phone of me probably is brighter than the moon on this part of the allotment, the screen of the mobile phone. So uh, is there another money spinner uh, which is now revived in the modern times to extort money out of people, to use their negligence, use their ignorance, things that we don't understand, like how plants germinate, how they grow. Just use it, using it for the purpose of money. So anybody who says that I'm growing things biodynamically, by the phase of the moon, ask them these questions. What you mean by the phase of the moon? What you mean in that? And listen to them. They don't have any reason <laughs> beyond that to say that we don't know, we don't understand. Ignorance is not a good excuse.